What's up everybody, this is Fishers of Men. Just when you thought the whole Rotten Tomatoes story couldn't get any weirder, couldn't get any stranger, Rotten Tomatoes goes and does something that's completely off the charts. They, earlier today, deleted around 50,000 reviews for Captain Marvel. 50,000 audience reviews. And there are a couple of reasons that the media has kind of been running with for why Rotten Tomatoes did this. And I'm going to go over both of them. I'll go over one in this video and I'll go over one in another video. But essentially, the audience score earlier today had 50,000 votes, and it was at like a 34%. It was abysmal. It was awful. And now it's at a 51, which is a little bit better, but with 17,000 17, votes, 51% is not very good. It's very low for a Marvel movie, and obviously people are not liking this movie that much. Now, obviously, when you pull up more info, it shows that the audience score is 51%. The average rating is 3 out of 5. That's terrible. And the critic score is even going down a little bit. It's now at a 79% for all critics. And uh, I believe a 65 for top critics, which is a little higher than it was. A little bit higher, but the average rating for top critics is still at a 6.27 out of 10. And top critics is a 6.79. So, really, it's gotten not good reviews. I mean, these are pretty bad. That's, that's actually pretty consistent with the average audience rating at this point. But like I said, we don't want to focus on what it's, what's going on right now. We want to focus on what they did earlier today. So I've got another article here. The article is from comicbook.com, written by Matthew Muller today, March 8th. And th I think this is what's actually important. This thing that's going on right here. This Rotten Tomatoes has been doing a lot of weird stuff recently with some weird timing. And it's really starting to take a hit to their credibility. And I think this, for a lot of people, is going to be a final straw. Now, obviously, the title of this is Captain Marvel, Rotten Tomato Purges Over 50,000 Reviews After Review Bombing. So, comicbook.com is saying that all those 50,000 reviews that got deleted, that was because those were review bombs. Those were trolls. Those were bots. They shouldn't have been there in the first place. They shouldn't be counted. They have no right to be counted. So, let's go and see what they have to say. Rotten Tomatoes just had to purge over 50,000 bad reviews from Captain Marvel. They had to. They had to purge them. Not bad as a negative, mind you, because that happens all the time, and it's part of the process. No, these were part of a review bomb. Illegitimate reviews intentionally aimed at lowering the score that can be affected by such a campaign, the audience score. This became quite noticeable once Rotten Tomatoes saw the overall number of user reviews for Captain Marvel sat around 58,000, which is way above the norm for a movie. Look, just because something is above the norm, it's outside of the norm, doesn't mean that it's wrong, doesn't mean that they're all illegitimate. People tend to be the most passionate about things they either really hate or really liked. And so if a lot of people are saying, this is the best movie ever, nobody should hate this ever, this is a female superhero and she's amazing, they would give the movie five stars. And if lots of people thought that way, a lot of people would go on and give it five stars. And if a lot of people hated the movie, didn't like Brie Larson, didn't like her acting, didn't like her character, and said, this movie sucks, it's not nearly as good as people are saying it is, and they went and reviewed it, it's, it's not unthinkable for it to get a lot of reviews. But let's see what else they have to say. To put that into perspective, Avengers Infinity War had a total of 53,000 reviews over its entire run, and there is no way that many people have seen Captain Marvel after one day of release. You don't think 53,000 tickets have been bought today across the entire United States? I don't know what other places it's already released. You don't think 53,000 people have been able to see this movie already? Seriously? Seriously? Okay, I mean, whatever. And look, I get what they're saying about Avengers Infinity War. That's not lost on me. But like I said before, if people really like or really hate something, they're more likely to make a fuss about it. The more controversial a movie is, the more people are going to review it. More people, if a movie is controversial, will want to get their opinion heard. If they really love the movie... They'll want everybody to know that they love the movie. They'll want the score of that movie to reflect how they felt. So they'll give it five stars. If they really hated the movie, they'll give it a half star. Because they really want people to know how they felt about the movie. This can be seen in The Last Jedi. Which I believe has something like 250,000 user reviews. This is primarily because it was such a controversial movie. Now it is a Star Wars movie, so obviously it's going to get tons of reviews. But Marvel has pretty much reached that point where it is a cultural icon, and it gets each movie 
tons of reviews, especially if it's controversial. So The Last Jedi was very controversial. The people that loved it and thought it was the best Star Wars movie ever, which I still have no idea how people think that, they gave it five stars, and they wanted everybody to know that they thought it was the best movie they'd ever seen. The people that hated it gave it a half star, and lots of people gave it a half star or one star or two stars because they hated it. If you love or hate a very controversial movie, you're going to be more likely to go out and rate it because you want the score to actually reflect how you felt. And the same thing is going to be true of Captain Marvel. This movie's already garnered a lot of controversy based on just things Brie Larson has said and Rotten Tomatoes issues that have been coming out. So it's obvious that if people see the movie and they hate it or they love it, they're going to leave that review because it's controversial and they want the score to reflect what they think. Infinity War, on the other hand, was pretty much universally loved. Everybody really liked that movie. I haven't talked to anyone who has said that they thought Infinity War was crap. So obviously, since it's not a controversial movie, and everyone sees that the rating matches what their actual opinions are, they're less likely to leave that review. So it would make sense that there's only 53,000 reviews for Infinity War, while Captain Marvel might get more very quickly. And for a lot of people, I think this is going to kind of be the last straw. I think a lot of people are going to start looking for other sites, other places to find movie reviews and critic reviews and audience reviews, something that they can trust and think that it's fair and that everything is counted correctly. Because I've already made videos about the way that they aggregate these scores and how it's not an actual, it's not like the average stars that a critic or an audience gave it. It's for critics, it's the percentage of critics that liked the movie based on what the compilers or Rotten Tomatoes got from the critic reviews. And for the audience, it's the percentage of people that gave it over 3.5 stars. And that's just the weirdest way to, like, say that this movie is good or bad. And I don't know how they've gotten away with it for so long and people haven't really looked at it and said, yeah, maybe, maybe that's bad. Maybe you shouldn't be doing it like that. I just, I, it's, it's just crazy to me. So I think this, I think this purging of audience reviews is really going to be a little too much for a lot of people. It's, 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 it's honestly, it's a little too much for me. I don't know how many of those were trolls. I don't know how many of those were bots. I assume some of them were bots. I don't have a problem making that jump in logic. But at the same time, unless you can definitively prove that all 54,000 of those reviews were people who had not seen the movie, I don't know how you can do that. I don't know how you can just delete their reviews. Let's keep going and see if this article has anything else going on. This is the quote from the president earlier this week or last week when he talked about how they removed the want and he talked about it's not just a reaction to noise created around certain movies, but it is noise reduction. So obviously that's a contradictory statement. Way to go, Mr. President of Fandango and Rotten Tomatoes for making statements that make sense and not something just weird. Since the changes were announced, Yanover has heard the the Fandango, who owns Rotten Tomatoes, has cut a deal with Disney to be nicer to its films. None of this site is owned by Disney, Yanover said, adding that the idea of some predestined arrangement between ourselves and Disney is completely untrue. But the things that we've seen in the past couple weeks with Rotten Tomatoes are very suspicious. You can say that all you want, but that doesn't mean that it's true. It doesn't mean that we believe it 100%. I'm usually a very trusting guy. I, I usually take people at their word, but... It's hard to do when all of these strangely timed events keep happening. He could be telling the total truth, or he could be lying through his teeth, and we would not know. We'd have no way of knowing. And that's the bad part of this, and that's the bad part for Rotten Tomatoes, too, because if they're not doing anything wrong, if they're legitimately acting with good faith and, and removing bot accounts and removing bot reviews and just pulling down the want to see metric because it's not helpful, that's fine. But... They need some way of proving that, or they need some way of doing that that's a little better. I don't think that in the middle of a controversy about a film is when they should be doing this. That's not the best time for them to do that. If they don't have any sort of deal with Disney, let the review bombs happen, and then go back after the fact and pull out all those bad ones. Or something. Because this just deals them damage to their credibility. It really hurts their brand and I think in the long run, this is going to be the thing that pushes a lot of people away from Rotten Tomatoes and makes them go, yeah, I don't use Rotten Tomatoes anymore because of what they did with Captain Marvel. Only time will tell, but this is not a good look for Rotten Tomatoes right now, and they need to start changing stuff fast if they want to remain relevant. I guess we'll see what happens. 
that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment. I'm going to be posting another video shortly about another excuse that has been given for the purging of these 50,000 reviews. So check out that video if you want to. If not, no big deal. That's fine. You do you. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. There are so many channels and so many videos that you could choose from on YouTube. And the fact that you chose to watch my video is not lost on me. Thank you so much. Again, I am Fishers of Men, and I will talk to you later.